today I wanted to talk a little bit about how your leaky energy is costing you money and what that means. So there's a lot of people who don't really have an idea of you know what is leaky energy and if you know anything about energy work we have energetic fields right in and around us and what can happen is we get tears or holes or fissures or gaps in our energy where either people might be um, feeding off of us or we're courting other people and in any case the fields are like um, Swiss cheese they look a little Swiss cheesy at times and what happens is when you walk around oh thank you they're, they're telling me like think about like Spongebob Squarepants I should find one of him um, Spongebob is a sponge right and he's got holes everywhere in his energy so to speak and so when you have energetic holes you're leaking life force energy that life force energy that is exiting your energetic fields is coming in from above to nourish you to um, feed you to keep you solid but most importantly what it's really supposed to do is help you really create a deeper connection with your own source your own higher self your own souls energy and when you do that it becomes a different vibration you're very much in the present moment with your source with your soul and that is really kind of key when wanting to attract greater opportunities or manifestations but when you're leaking energy that source energy is just coming right through you and leaving out of all of your systems and that can leave you feeling drained and fatigued frustrated I mean you could be doing everything right but if your energy is just like scooching out <laughs> then there's nothing feeding you right there's nothing holding you there and it throws off your ability to magnetize the opportunities the money the cash flow the clients that are um, that you're looking for so with leaky energy um, leaky energy sometimes creates holes or cracks or fissures those are little entryways where external energies can kind of seep through and make their way in there and you can I can I can always tell when I'm leaking energy because if I go somewhere like um, a really big store and I have maybe a hole or a fissure I could leave that store and I'll get like back pain or I'll get a headache it's just a signal to me that um, that I had a hole and that there's external energy trying to come through and that creates pain we go through like this whole big thing about spiritual boundaries in our body concourse but for this sense of purpose um, just to give you an idea of how this is costing you money if you're not taking care of your energy fields and you're working in a public setting you're working maybe in um, areas where like teachers nurses especially in hospitals oh god I hate going to hospitals but um, <laughs> you know really large places you're a healer and maybe you're traveling through different astral planes or dimensions or even you know uh, time continues you want to make sure that your fields are solid I mean like solid like a rock because when you go out in into the world even or into the astral plane you're glowing your light is glowing and if you have like a hole in your energy it's just seeping out so playing up these le uh, these leaks can actually make you money <laughs> right good energetic self-care can actually increase your levels of magnetism make your energy much more present and amplify your abilities to manifest because here's the key to manifesting you can only manifest in the present moment right where you are right now in this moment you can only do that right here right now if your energy is not here and let's say it's in the past right and you're constantly in the past 
you can't really attract much because what you're attracting is what your magnetism is and what that magnetism is vibrating at is that past scenario. So maybe you're thinking about a past scenario that didn't work out for you or something bad that happened or something that you didn't want to happen and you're ruminating over that, right? You're putting your energy back there and now that's where your magnetism is. If you think too far into the future, there is no magnetism there yet unless, of course, you're manifesting it and collapsing timelines. So if you're doing that with intention, then you're still not manifesting it yet. You're just closing the timeline and accelerating the manifestation process to come forth. But in the present breath, you do that with intention. So there's a little bit of a quandary there, right? The future hasn't really quite existed, but we it does it does and it doesn't, right? It it does actually exist in a different timeline. Um, but if you're in the present moment, like right now, but you're thinking about the future and you're not doing it with intention, right? You're just doing a lot of plans and you're in the future, but you're not really mentally using your fields to manifest, then you're not in the present either. And that magnetism um, is off and then it doesn't really attract the opportunities at the moment. You have to do that with attention. It's a whole different course. We could teach you that. Um, as for the present moment, the moment that you're here, you're present, and you invite your soul and source energy. Thank you. And they're just reminding me for the future piece is that your soul energy is not in alignment when your energy is in the future unless you're deliberately creating to collapse those timelines. Um, when you're here in the present moment and you're running that source energy and you're filling up the holes and you're present and you're not leaking, that is the moment in which magnetization of what it is that you want and all the opportunities at its highest. You are full of energy, of life force. You're not leaking it. Everything is is aligned and you're, you are charging your electrical and magnetic frequencies, especially the magnetics. The magnetics is the grids that hold you kind of here down in the earthy realms where you can manifest. And there are magnetic grids around each and every one of your cells. It kind of like encompasses it. So long story short, uh, when you are in alignment and you're not leaking energy, it is your best time to manifest. It's your best time to actually start creating and plugging up those holes. When you are leaking energy, you're not magnetizing, you're not attracting, you're not um, seeing the types of results that you can. And some of the symptoms for leaky energy may be, maybe you're overspending or you're overeating or you're anxious or you know, you're just putting so much energy out and not seeing it return. And that can even result in boundaries. You're letting a lot of people take advantage of you. You're not saying no uh, when you should be saying no. And you're saying yes all the time. All of those types of things leak energy. So while we're moving into these new 5D energies, a part of this is being really conscious and aware of what your energy is doing and how to manage it. So if you are leaking energy, you are losing money. So one of the things that you might want to focus on, especially um, grounding and balancing, is really kind of looking at your energy fields and noticing where there are any leaks and filling them up. This will save you time, this will save you money, it will increase your ability to balance your energy during these high electrical fields, um, these high electrical um, downloads that are coming through, and they will help you keep grounded, balanced, and stabilized, and you won't feel as many physical shifts to all of this energy as you would if your fields were all full of holes. So we hope that that was very helpful for you as we move into this 5D energy.